today we're going to have a look at a pen that I am very excited about. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I saw these at the DC Pen Show 2017. I was there, they were unveiled, and I think, I really think they are very cool. A little bit of background. Uh, this is a pen by the company, the Armando Simoni Club. Uh, Armando Simoni uh, was the founder of OMAS, and the AS in OMAS stands for Armando Simoni. Look it up. Now, as we know, sadly, OMAS as a company has been shut down, or has shut down, and that's a giant shame, because I really liked OMAS pens. Now, there is one gentleman out there, Emanuel Caltagirone, um, I hope I pronounced that correctly, in any case, Emmanuel has been in the pen world for a long time and he makes those new while ever sharp skylines which I have reviewed a long time ago. He sent me one. Okay. He's also involved in, as, as I understand it, uh, in the creation of the while ever sharp deco bands, but the new ones. But I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about this pen. What happened was he was able to obtain a lot of the Arco bronze celluloid and that is a celluloid that fountain pen users really love because it's a very very pretty material so he got those rods and he decided to make pens with them and what happened is he created a pen called the Bologna Extra Bologna place where Omas was located that's a very pretty pen so he sent me one for review uh, and I'm going to review it, but what I should say is I got it, I used it for a few days, and I bought it off of him because I think it's an amazing pen. So there you have it. So where it was sent to me before, it's actually now my property and I'm reviewing my property. The box, Armando Simoni Club, okay? Open the box. The box is very, very reminiscent of the old Omas boxes. Uh, that nice uh, material. It says Italian creativity, history, craftsmanship, the pleasure of writing. Pen sleeve, nothing fancy. Uh, and then we have the uh, uh, Armando Simoni Club logo. Single pen bed. Turn it over, have a friend sleep over, and you can put in two pens. Then we have the Armando Simoni Club card. When you buy one of these pens, you become a club member uh, because there's more pens uh, launched by Armando Simoni. Uh, and then there is the little uh, booklet and there is the cute little medallion uh, with the Armando Simoni Club logo, which was on the clip when I got the pen. The booklet, the one thing I really want to show you is, uh, so this is Mr. Armando Simoni, yeah, with a little bit of history. Uh, and this is my friend Emmanuel, who is in charge of making these pens. Okay, so just so you know, it's always nice when you when you see him walking down the street. Now you know who he is, and you can greet him. The pen and uh, the filling system. I'll come back to that in a second. I'll leave that out so I can show you. And that's pretty much it. Okay, the pen. Bologna Extra. This is a big pen, and it's heavy. That is a sizable, respectable pen. The Arco celluloid is beautiful. I've reviewed other Arco pens. Yes. The new Melord, the Paragon, and Emmanuel actually called this the Paragon Grande, and I like that because the new Paragons, the last Paragons that Omas made, are bigger than the old style Paragons, which have the same size as a new style Melord. Okay? I'm going to do a shootout between old style Paragon, and new style Paragon, and this pen, all in Arco, so you can really get a feel for the different pens. But now I'm just going to focus on this pen. Okay? I'm going to cover the past the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then, as always, I'll do a writing sample. Top of the pen, you see the finial, not a whole lot going on. There is the clip with a little rolling thing that Omas used. And the, um, and the Armando Simoni Club logo and little medallion. That is a very pretty material, the Arco. Uh, there was also a green Arco, this is the bronze, and I think it's really, really pretty. Center band, rose gold, um, Greek key, 
which uh, I, I like a lot. That's also very reminiscent of the old uh, um, the, the Omas pens. I happen to pull it out here. So now on the left you have the old, the uh, Paragon Grand, and you see that has that Greek key too, something that Amano Simoni did, and I think that's a nice touch. Unscrews, then you have another center band in the section, also Greek key, we have a nice section, threads right there, which is where they appeared on the Ojiva model, I want to say, um, which is kind of in the middle of the section, some people don't like that. Section tapers down, flares out a little bit, large nib, this is a number 8 nib, which makes it really pretty big. Uh, should you really want to see that on the uh, regular, the, the, the Paragon I have, that's a number six nib. So you see that that number eight, that's really quite something. That is a large nib. Now before I go on about the nib, filling mechanism. You unscrew that bit. You may be able to see, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, there's a little hole in there. This is a pneumatic filler. Okay, pneumatic filler, very simple. I'm going to show you this uh, from the information booklet because it shows it off really well. I have the pen inked right now, so I, I don't really want to mess with it too much. You unscrew the end cap and then you, it would be there, right? And you pull it out of the pen and that's what you see. Very simple, very old system, works well. Inside of the pen is a sack, a rubber sack. Um, you put your finger on the hole. Uh, so when the thing is pulled out, you put your finger on the hole and then you just push it back in and you let go. And what happens is, because you push it back in, that metal sleeve creates a vacuum, sack is compressed, and then when you let go of your finger, the sack slowly decompresses again, and that draws up ink from a bottle. So no cartridges with this, no eyedroppering, that's the system, that you can't really take that out. Built into the pen. As I said, an older system, been used for a while, works well, and I was able to get about, I would say, 1.8 milliliters of ink in the pen. And it's a large body, so it, it does actually hold some ink, um, as you can see here, all right? Uh, I don't know if I had shown that yet, but on the barrel it also says, uh, there's a number, uh, it's right now, it's upside down, sorry, but it says uh, ASC Bologna Extra Arco <clears throat> number 43, so I happen to have number 43. I don't think this is a limited edition per se to the extent that it's not going to be 1000 of these pens but Emmanuel can make these pens until he runs out of Arco because it's a material that's no longer made so maybe we should call this a limited production uh, only a certain amount can be made okay a little bit more about that nib I think this is the same nib used on the Wall Eversharp deco bands, the new ones, uh, and they call it the Magic Flex. So it's yellow gold with a rose gold uh, plating. It says Magic Flex Gold 18 karat 750 and has the Armando Simoni Club logo on there again. Is it flexy? Yes, it is flexy. Is it vintage flex? No, it's not. It also comes with a warning uh, to uh, uh, not over flex it. You can bend them. So it's just look at it as something that gives you a nice bit of spring. Very fascinating. Ebonite feed. And maybe you can see that little piece on top there that looks like it sticks out just a tiny bit. That feed is actually designed in such a way that it flexes along with the nib. So you don't lift the nib off the feed and then hamper ink flow. It actually, the feed kind of bounces along with the nib. I was a bit skeptical about that, but I have to admit, it works. This pen keeps going. It just writes and it, it the ink flow definitely keeps up with the pen. So that's very, very nice. What do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, I bought it, so I clearly like it. And I haven't bought a pen since November last year. It's now September of the next year, so it's been a while. But this one spoke to me. Why do I like it so much? Arco, hard to go wrong with. The size of the pen is fantastic. It doesn't post, it doesn't need to post, because this is big, it's a massive pen. I like the large nib. You can only get it in one grade, so you don't get a broad, you just get that grade. It works well, you get a nice bit of spring out of it. I like that. I like the rose gold, it's warm. It's a solid pen, it's, it's heavy. 
There's very little I don't like about it. And I really like that, that feed that, that, that moves up a bit because it works. It, it really works. Uh, things I don't like about it so much. Well, there isn't a whole lot because reviews are personal things and I always try to be objective, but if I bought it, then clearly I like it and there isn't that much I don't like about it. If I have to nitpick, this is what I would say. Maybe the clip should be a little longer because right now it's a lot of cap and not that much clip. Doesn't really bother me though. Uh, I've seen that some people said they don't really like that logo here. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, some people will, some people won't. To me, it doesn't really bother me. I do like that it's rose gold just like the rest so that it actually matches the rest of the trims of the pen. Threads in the middle of the section, for some people that's an issue. That's a pretty thick, wide section, uh, so there's enough for me to hold on to even with relatively large hands. I have no issues, I don't really feel the threads, unless I really move this middle finger back down and curl it up, then I start to feel them. So it's definitely possible. I'm not going to lie, these are on the sharp side of things. For me, given how much real estate there is right there, it doesn't really bother me, but I can see how for some people that might be an issue. Can't post the pen, not an issue. I mean, that's a lot of pen for me, so I don't really need to post it anyway. Price. Initial uh, launch price was $995, and it's now moved up to $1245 to complexities in, in production, etc. Um, I don't know what, what, what exactly that means. What I do know is that Emmanuel explained to me that they, um, I hope I cite him correctly here because this was, uh, I recall that, oral tradition. He, he told me that, but uh, I think they use a special buffing compound that includes beeswax, uh, which makes for a very shiny pen. And it, it is definitely shiny and reflective. So maybe it's, it, that's part of the issue. Maybe they couldn't keep up with demand. I don't know, that's all speculation on my behalf. Uh, the simple fact is the price has gone up. And if you have reserved the pen at the initial price, you'll get it for the initial price. But still, uh, that's not cheap. L make no mistake, it's an expensive pen. And uh, I, um, uh, to me, worth it. Uh, even if you look at a, I'm, I'm wrecking my brain right now, I think I paid about 700 euros at the time for my Paragon Grand. So this is uh, what, $995 dollars that kind of puts it in that range. Uh, $1245 is definitely more expensive. Hey, it's expensive. Um, nothing I can do about it. You know, it's, it's an expensive pen. You're buying a celluloid pen, you're buying the Arco material, which is hot, you're buying it with a flexi nib, you're buying, I mean, uh, is it worth it penny for penny? You know a fountain pen isn't worth it penny for penny. That's the way the fountain pen world works. I would say what I see is a large, well-made pen in a beautiful material with a great nib that writes, that delivers its promise of being flexi. So if it's really worth it, it's up to you. I see a really well-made pen, and I love it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. So, Emmanuel, thanks for initially sending the pen to me as a loaner to review. Now I own it, and I love it. Thank you for making beautiful pens. Please continue to do that, but not too rapidly, because you'll make me go bankrupt. We need to see how the pen writes. High-resolution pictures of the pen, as well as the pen's measurements, will be on the website, sbarybrown.com. Let's see how it writes, and that's all. I hope this was useful so far, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but there is an ice cream truck in the background. But anyway, ignoring that, let's have a look at this pen. So, uh, forgive me, but just to save some time, I'm not going to write down Armando Simoni Club. I'm just going to write down AR. I don't know why. ASC the Bologna Extra, and I'm taking extra care not to push down on it so you can really see what the nib looks like, how it writes, if you do not push it. Uh, the, nib, the nib is that 18K Magic Flex, so I'm just gonna put down M Flex, uh, and the ink is the Humble Waterman Havana Brown, which I think is a very nice brown which also washes out of pens very easily, which is always nice. Okay, let's do some writing, guys. Writing is smooth.
It's also a nice nib. Fairly juicy. Making for a pleasant writing experience. Bit of fast writing. That really keeps up very well, I would say. Wetness of the pen. Nice and wet, not an extreme gusher, just a nicely adjusted nib. Now, the moment supreme for which you've all been waiting, uh, the line variation. So as I said, the nib comes with a warning not to push it too hard. So I'm not going to, that's where I'm going to leave off because I, I, I don't want to destroy my new nib. Um, but as you can see, that is some, uh, I would say, impressive line variation. That was not the nib skipping, that was me misaligning it. Um, as you can see, that keeps up really well. And that, that, that feed, I mean, I can't really show you that as I write. I mean, I'm sure I could put on a second camera on the desk, but the, as the nib comes up a bit, so does that front part of the feed. And that works really well. I wonder if I can show you that like this. Not really, because I'm just lifting up the nib, but you see there, the feed can actually come up a little bit too. And that works really well. So, this is going pretty fast. It was one bit of railroading. But it, re it, it like starts up very quickly again. I couldn't do that with the Aurora Flex Nib, for example. So I do think they're, they're onto something here, and it, it works really well. Um, just a lot of fun to play with. Okay, reverse writing, for those of you who enjoy such a thing, is possible, and I must say, very smooth. I do think it's going to run dry at some point, but you can definitely do this for a bit and get a finer line than you otherwise would. Okay, Emmanuel, thanks a lot for sending me the pen. Uh, also, thanks a lot for making it, because I really enjoy it. It is now my pen, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So, keep your eyes peeled for some shootouts with this pen. Uh, as I said, I want to do the old Paragon, new Paragon, and this all in Arco, maybe something else too. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.